Hey guys, so I came literally right back. So this is a little rundown about my um, my nursing journey now, um, and a what's in my work bag ordeal. So last video I talked about my NCLEX experience and how I passed the 265 questions. And your girl is now a nurse, and I am a NICU nurse to be exact. That is a neonatal intensive care unit. Um, honestly, I hate adults. No, I'm not gonna say I hate adults, but I'm not a big fan of working with adults at all. And personally, I was a NICU baby, so to go back where I came from was something that was big for me. So, back in the NICU is where I am. Um, and so far, I love it. Like, it's, it's great. So, just to not prolong the hour, I'm gonna do a rest of my work bag. Honestly, I've literally switched bags like three times already in this two week time span that I've been working so far because like I just didn't know what I really wanted what I needed to take what I didn't need and where like I didn't know because this hospital is different for me because before this I was working at our children's hospital and my bag went with me literally everywhere and I didn't have like a special place to store it so it just went with me but now it's like we have lockers, but nobody really goes to their locker because it's like in a basement type area. I don't know. And, but there's a place on the unit, well, on the floor that I'm on right now that we can store our lockers because our NICU is divided up into two floors. There's the second floor and the seventh floor. Right now I'm orienting on the seventh floor with my preceptor. I have two preceptors for the seventh floor. Um, and basically the seventh floor is they don't like to use the term feeders and growers but basically our babies on the second floor oh, excuse me on the seventh floor are not as critical as the babies on the second floor they've graduated from the second floor and they are now like working towards going home and making sure that you know they can eat okay and that they're gaining the weight they need to and you know, getting the last of their little tests and their shots and doing their car seat tests, etc., to make sure they can go home. So we do eight weeks up there, four weeks with our preceptor, four weeks on our own. But our preceptor is still there. We use them as resource, but like they'll have their own set of patients. We'll have our own set of well, I'll have my own set of patients and I'll be doing everything for my patients. But my preceptor is still there if I need help. So I love that. Um so uh, this week i work tuesday i work thursday and i work friday um wednesday i'm technically off but we have class because my residency we have class to attend so our classes are embedded we have three a month they're literally like once a week so it could be like once a week for three weeks back to back or they can spread it out so we have our first class this wednesday so this is my bag. I got it from Amazon. It's like this gray um, tote bag. And I actually like it. It's, it's a little smaller in person than what I thought, but it's perfect for everything. And then I have these two pins on it. This one you've probably seen in one of my back to school hauls. I had it on my um, book bag. And then this one, it just says best nurse ever. I don't remember where I got it from, but yeah. So, and the bag has a zip closure, but it's open, clearly. Um, I have this folder. Um, our coordinator for our residency gave us like this big accordion folder with our name um, labeled on it that had like for us to like store like papers that she gives us. Um, but the accordion folder wouldn't fit in my bag. So I have this folder that I had from school. And basically inside, um, I have our like our class curriculum in here for like each class that has like what we're gonna do what we're gonna talk about and the assignments that we have to do which I'm working on those as we speak then I have this class discussion um, paper where we have to pick a patient write out all their information on them and we have to present it in class I kind of need to pick a patient tomorrow and then I have this article that we have to read and so I'm just keeping this in my bag so I have it when we go to class on Tuesday. Another thing that's gonna be, excuse me, Wednesday. Another thing um, that's gonna be in my bag um, when I go to class is this um, notebook. For our modules that we do online, um, I've been taking um, 
notes on them. I did one already and took some notes. So just the stuff to remember because in nursing school, honestly, like we learn about newborns in our mother baby class, but at the same time we don't. Like, especially when it comes to like premature babies, all they say is, oh, if the baby's premature, they're gonna go to the NICU, period. That's it, like no in depth. So now we're learning like everything on the floor. Okay, next I have this manual. It has the name of my hospital on it, so I'm covering that up. Um, that we got for orientation. It's our orientation manual. Basically, it just has like a welcome um, competencies that we have to do with like our preceptor and all that jazz stuff on it. Yep, that's it. Um, wallet still kicking it with the micro cords for slip um i have this little planner it's a monthly planner it's just like a calendar it has like the cutest quotes in it oh my goodness it's so cute um honestly when i ordered this on amazon i truly thought that it was bigger than this but jokes on me so I just have like my work schedule in here and when we have class or whatever and paydays of course, which <laughs> payday is Friday. Um, I'm gonna get a bigger one, but I'm probably just gonna wait until the new year to get a bigger one because that's perfect, but at the same time, it's really small. Um, next, I have what I call like my emergency pouch, literally. Um, I have hand sanitizer, lotion, Ali, oh, that's not Ali, Advil, some wipes, pads, and some liners. Um, I got this little bag. It came in like a three set from TJ Maxx. Um, I got it before I went on my trip so I could like have something to put like um, my, what's it, what is it called? Your toiletries. Yeah, my toiletries. So I just use this for work. I feel like I had other stuff in here when it was in my other bag. But I don't remember what else I put in here, so that's that. Um, and then, handy dandy pencil pouch is still dug in it with me. Um, I literally just keep some pens, some highlighters, expo marker, a pencil, and like my mini Sharpie. Well, I have more than just one of these in here. Never know. I don't know. Like, I didn't know what I was going to need in my unit. So, in the zip pouch, um... I have my headphones and I literally just have the pins that I keep on my on me um, like in my pocket and the highlighter and I love these little four color pins um, I have those and then there's also like two pockets on the inside one I just have like this little notebook um, our coordinator gave it to us so we could like take notes or whatever but honestly you really don't have time to take notes while you're trying to like watch your precept do stuff i have sticky notes too haven't used them and then i have a clip bar i could pick kind these are actually really good and filling um and then i have my badge actually this is like literally the best badge picture i have ever taken Ever. and you know staff are in special care nursery um and then we just have this little badge buddy thing with like all these important numbers and the different codes on the back and what they mean and then of course my RN badge and then our security badge and then this other set of numbers for like people specifically for NICU that we need to call, like respiratory, charge nurse, um, the pharmacy, audiology, lactation, etc. like that. And there's more numbers. And then there's my label for me to put on my locker whenever I decide to go and pick out my locker. So, yep, that's all that's in my bag. Um, so that's about it um if you guys have any more questions regarding like NICU or if you want me to do like um just updates on my residency program or just do like a whole uh 
video regarding my residency, I can. Um, I will say my residency is 16 weeks. So we started July 22nd and we'll end the very end of November is the end of residency. And then starting in December, we'll be officially on our own. Um, so I can either do weeklies or I can do monthly videos or I can just wait until the very end and discuss the whole residency as a whole. Um, whatever you guys want to see, just let me know and have a great day. Bye.